Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. Um, we are back with my signature tower of awesome, which is right here. Uh, as you can see, I've already got some people that have already started signing it. That's mine, Code Primate, you know, just to show, hey, this is going to be the signature tower. We have Danny Boy, we have Fezzik Jr. right under there, and then STR. Oh, gosh, I forgot what the whole name was, but anyhow, he was in yesterday's video. They were in yesterday's video. Um, I got some wood right here. I'm probably just gonna go sell this off, but before I do, um, I just noticed I got 21,000. That means we can go and get the, uh, the water. And Bacon Queen has joined us. Hi, Bacon. Hi, Bacon. Smiley faces. There you go. Keep on you. <laughs> she said I was, uh, she was trying to join me yesterday. Thank you for trying to join me. Appreciate it. We're gonna go get the uh, the big car, the big truck, the valve hauler. Um, it is daytime, so we are going to have to wait until Ginny wakes up a little bit. Oh my gosh, Ginny from the block. But that's okay. I guess it's a deal. Oh, um, speaking of which, hold on. I need to read something to you guys because this. I have a lot of you all the time that are saying in the comments like, pin me code, pin me, give me a pin. Um, the whole purpose of a pin is to show that this comment is above all other comments. It's like, oh, you paid two? Oh no. And it's to show like, it's a meaningful, meaningful thing. And so in yesterday's video, I had a, a reply from Unique Gamer HD, and I'm just going to read this out loud. It is amazing to think that you spent so much time playing Lumber. As a fellow old Lumber creator, I uh, Lumber creator, I felt that the game became boring. I felt the joy. Oh gosh. I felt the joy when a new item was released, or a new wood, or something like that would come out. It gave, some, uh, it gave something to players to connect. Now there is less communication between uh, because of those players either uh, do not talk or speak another language. It may be because I stopped uploading to my community, uh, stopped uploading and my community died. I felt I could not upload any more videos because I was bullied and prosecuted, persecuted for uploading Roblox videos at my age. This is my true passion, and I will not have another chance. I was the lucky person who got their chance, but I let it go. I really want to upload to on my channel again, but I see no way of having uh, no way of having fun and not getting bullied. Your videos are what keep my passion for lumber strong. Keep up the great work. You got a pen. Nobody ever gets pens. Okay, and it's because you guys don't, you don't put it in a passionate comment inside the thing. You say, hi code, first, um, pin my comment. You, like, that's, that's great. Like, I don't mind what you comment, but this right here, this particular one, this gets a pin, and it's going to be on top, on top shelf. Thank you, Unique Gamer uh, HD, for sharing with me. And second of all, if you're getting bullied, ignore them. Okay, if you really, really, truly want to play Lumber Tycoon 2, or if you want to play any Roblox game, and you are an older person, and this goes out to your parents, this goes out to older people, this goes out to younger people, play it, okay? Because there's such a stereotype that we, an older generation, have to play a certain type of game. If I want to go and play Teletubby uh, Tickle Time, you should not be making fun of me for that. And how dare anybody? make fun of someone else for playing Roblox. Okay, Roblox itself is not a video game. Roblox is a development sandbox. And I will stand up against anyone who makes fun of somebody else for playing Roblox. Ever. So you have my support. Now, <laughs> now that that, <sighs> calm down code, calm down. That right there, I mean, you, you are an inspiration. You are what keeps me going. Thank you for sharing. And I really do appreciate it. And I love you. All right? And I'm sorry that people have been 
mean or cruel or said anything to the contrary of something encouraging to you. <clears throat> <sighs> well, now because of that little um, thing. Hi, buddy. Uh, I'm probably going to have a whole bunch of comments that I'm going to have to read through instead of the, the normal mundane every, every day. You guys do give tips and tricks and stuff like that, which I really do appreciate. But um, when I see comments like, PIN ME CODE! Why? What did you do to motivate me? What have you done for me lately? You know, I my channel is here for you guys. I come and make videos every single day. I go and, and, and do this, which is, it's my time. I enjoy playing Lumber Titan 2. I enjoy playing Roblox games. Um, and not to sound mean, I enjoy when you guys freak out because I didn't do a Lumber Tycoon 2 video. That, He's quitting Lumber! Dude, it was like one day. I didn't post for like a day and everybody's like freaking out like, oh, where's Lumber? I I didn't know it was that, that important. But at the same time, I mean, my channel wasn't always Lumber and it might not be Lumber in the future. And we don't know what the future holds. So, I mean, who knows? I, I, I just thought it was, I thought it was really cute that you guys freak out about it. Like, oh, please, where's, where's our lumber tycoon too? Hi, hi. Smiley, <gasps> Mr. Police Officer, man. Hi, buddy. Oh, you're a sheriff in real life too. Look at that. The sheriff over here in lumber. Um, whenever we were playing Mad City, he... Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry. We had Olive Garden tonight. My, um, my nephew came down today, and, uh, oh, my nephew's actually been on here before. Back whenever I was first setting up my green screen, back in 2014, 15, 2015, maybe, time frame, he was the one that we did the news anchor thing with, and we set up the green screen and got everything set down. He just had a baby. <gasps> what? And guess what? And I know I say, hey, I'm not old, but I actually just became a uh, great, uh, I became a great uncle. Because he's my nephew, and he had a baby. So that makes that my great nephew. Ooh. I'm only 37 years old. Leave me alone. I'm not that old. <laughs> now when I hit 47 and I start talking like this, and I'm like... Honey, bring the Madden Musil, and I need a new pack of the pens. Then you guys can start making fun of me. But until that time, yeah, it's just me, and I'm not old. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Uh, I've been not paying attention to the thing. Uh, he doesn't give axes. Um, who was asking for an axe? I mean, I've got plenty of axes on me right now, but... Gonna need to put all this stuff back. I was thinking about running over there to um, Link's Logic and grabbing some of the uh, the neons, the neon wires, because um, who was it? Fezzik. He gave me a lamp, but looking at it now, it's just. Oops, sorry, bacon. Sorry, bacon. Looking at it, it's not enough light. Like, it's just this little bitty circle right here. And I need I need a lot more light than just that so I don't think the lamps gonna work correctly I definitely need um, what's it um, neons neons that's what I need oh the fairies here the fairies here uh, so let's head over we need to head to fairy <laughs> Stop singing, God. I'm not singing. I'm beatboxing. I mean, wink. Why are those not coming out? There we go. We're at two thousand forty-five. Two thousand four five two.
Whoa, 5,000 something. Link. Photobike. Photobike? I don't know what photobike means. Come on, knock on our door. Somebody's building a rail. Are you building a way to get across the uh, thing? That'd be kind of cool. I wonder how long this took. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Hi, I run this ferry. I'll buy a ticket. Thanks. We'll be on our way soon. <laughs> Code, you've been coming on my ferry for a long time. I know. It's the only way to get across. <laughs> No, but I just wanted to tell you thank you for all your patronage. You're, you're welcome, Hoover. Ah, didn't know you had a heart. <laughs> I've sailed these seas many a years, Code. And I just gotta say, I'm one of the luckiest persons there is to ever meet you. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Hoover's being so sweet today. <laughs> hey. Well, we got a little bit of time. For like six minutes. I don't really have any plans. Um, actually, let's do this. Drink. Move. Um, thank you guys for helping me out last time. Because you helped a lot. A lot more than you know just because of uh, helping me build all these you guys did an awesome job oh gosh oh gosh please there it goes um, get these in place <laughs> there it goes. This is this kind of reminds me of building the um, tree house with Samper Life. You guys remember? If you've not watched that series, oh my goodness, that was that was a long series, and you will see some original original things if you watch that series. I think it's Code Plays, um, Code Plays Lumber or something like that, maybe? I don't know. I don't remember. Ah, <gasps> Chicken Axe! Oh, am I going to be able to pick it up? I, I can't click it. Uh, no E. <laughs> I can't pick up. There we go. That worked. Uh, I'm going to have to place a storage facility of some kind. <laughs> Can I get, yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Destroy that. Um, let's do, let's see. I don't want to just set them on the ground because People are going to be. People are going to jump on them. Um, I guess. Okay, here. Let's go. Let's go back in the boat. Back in the boat. Back in the boat. <laughs> we go back into the boat. Check the time. Mm. If it's around three minutes, we won't do anything. But if it's if it's still like five minutes or something like that. Then I will. Uh, I'll go grab some glass. Um, when do you run next? Five minutes and seven seconds. Okay, we still got plenty of time. We're good. It's five minutes and seven seconds. Till the awesome fairy Hoover takes off. And boop. 
it's a deal. Come on, come on. Okay, what am I gonna need? I am going to need um one, two. Be my storage, temporary storage for axes only. Oh, I gotta hurry. Oh, how much is this? I forgot to check the price. 550. I don't. I don't know that I've got enough. Yeah, I should. I should. Okay, it should be fine. Actually, actually, that's it. That's it. That's the one. Let's go. That's it. What I'll do is I'll make a single glass wall, three wood walls, and then that way I can see inside to see what I've dropped. Jingle. Hi, uh, Jingle. Jingle all the way. Oh. Batman smells defaultio. Smells Robin laid an egg. Batmobile lost a will. And the Joker got away. Hey. Hoover stinks. Some candy's pink. And bacon's by my side. <clears throat> Smiley's trying to catch up to us. On Hoover's ferry ride. <clears throat> that, that was a good singing code. That will go down in history. Actually, it will. It's, uh, it's now preserved on the internet for all of eternity for you guys to enjoy. So, you're welcome. You're welcome for that. See. A strange thing, this internet. Um, when you post something to it, if you make messages, if you send out tweets, if you are a part of the internet, which most young people are, um, I want you to realize that whatever you put out there, it can perpetuate and continue and go on forever. Now, sometimes it doesn't, and sometimes it just dies and goes bye-bye to the wayside. Um, a lot of people don't re remember some of the original memes. Uh, a lot of the stuff that I saw growing up myself, like Ebum's World. Ebum's World is still out there, but, you know, it's not as popular as it used to be. There used to be this military break room that I used to watch all the time, and that's gone. But the content that gets released on Twitter, Facebook, stuff like that, it is much harder to cease and desist or, like, to delete. So make sure when you post something, it's not harmful because it can... It can become very bad very quick that's I don't know any better way of explaining it just be mindful when you post something I know there's a lot of a lot of people including my kids, my children who think they can just turn on a camera, record something and throw it on the internet um, perfect example was my daughter slapping off Oliver, like that's, that's not appropriate, okay it probably shouldn't be on there, but did I giggle a little bit? I did. Did I laugh? Yeah, absolutely. Um, is it going to be detrimental and harmful to him when he's older in his teenage years and one of his friends comes up to him and goes, Is this you? Could be. And I've warned. I, I said, Don't you dare record anything. And I've say, I'm saying it to you right now. Do not 
post anything on the internet that you would not be proud of in 10 years. Would I be proud of this? Yes. Yes, I would. I'd be very proud of my... Um, seriously, how many minutes? Okay, well. I'm very proud of my channel. And I'm very proud of you guys. You are next. Two minutes. Uh, two minutes. Twenty seconds. You're fine. You got plenty of time. Plenty of time. I have them days of not being able to spell. Me too. And I, I think that's a given. Lots of people don't have... Um, wait, how was your day code? It was good. It was very good. Um, we got to meet my uh, grand nephew and hang out with my nephew and his fiance. That was awesome. And uh, Oh, by the way, I don't, I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but I am ordained. So, like, I can marry people. <laughs> we were talking about it, and I said, so you guys got somebody picked out that's going to do the ceremony? No, maybe? Um, the whole reason I did it was because um, some of my friends back, uh, I knew them in high school, and they came to me um, probably four or five years ago, and they said, hey, could you marry us? I'm like, well, why, why are you asking me? I'm not a priest. <laughs> and they said, Oh, you, oh, you're like the most religious person we know. <laughs> what? Me? I'm... <laughs> no, that's not... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I went and I um, paid the commission, and then I did the little uh, the little research thing, and I took the oath, and then I did the, the thing, and I, sure enough, I've got my my ministry card that says I'm ordained under the Universal Life Church. And I can I can take and I can perform eulogies, um, I can perform funerals, I can perform marriages. Like I didn't I don't know if you guys knew that or about me or not, so it's just one more thing. Heath Haskins, Jack of all trades. What are we doing? I completely forgot. Oh, I'm hanging out. 22 minutes. Oh, come on. Hoover. Seriously, dude. Your timer is broken. Uh, when do you run next? One minute and 18 seconds. I talked for over a minute. That's... Timer is slow. It, and if can default if de <laughs> if defaultio could fix anything about lumber, Hoover's timer, I would love to have fixed. Hoover's timer can. In fact, I'm going to tweet to him right now because this is. <clears throat> Hold on. Go to Twitter. Go to messages. Josh. Hi. I'm sorry about pinging you about this, but can you please fix Uber's timer? I'm recording a video, and we are sitting on the boat. He said. It was going to be two minutes, 20 seconds. We are now 22 minutes into the video. And he says, it's going to be one minute, 18 seconds. <laughs> There's got to be something that can be done, because that, that timer is just not... Mm -mm. Mm. 
I don't I don't normally complain. <coughs> and I definitely don't use my default geo friend powers for abuse. Like I really do. I respect Defaultio and the fact that like he even friended me in the first place. And I want to give him as much space as he wants. And you know, let you guys can't ping me and say, "Hey, ask Defaultio this." I don't do that. Well, sometimes I do that, but only when I want the same thing. <laughs> kind of. <coughs> I don't want you guys to think that you could use me as a pivot to get to Defaultio. He's got Twitter and he's got his regular means of communication. I go through the same means. I send him a tweet at Defaultio. The same way you guys do. So. That's all. Oh no, you can't pick them up. Did he get him? Dude, Hoover, come on. Seriously, dude. You've got to be kidding me. I run this way. When do you run next? 14 seconds. 13. 12. 11. 10. 8. 7. 6. We're not going to be able to finish it out. 5. 4. 3. And I'm actually counting really slow. 2. 1. 0. 0. Zero. I'm sorry, I, I don't want to sit for 22 minutes waiting on the ferry to go across. This is ridiculous. I mean, there's not really that big of a bases. The, like, the bases haven't really changed too much. Oh. Thank you, Hoover. Oh my gosh. Finally. Did you see the Marshmallow concert? I didn't. <laughs> Bro, that concert was in-game was amazing. Didn't see it. I haven't been playing Fortnite as much as I probably should, but I've also been releasing four videos a day. So, um, <clears throat> never gonna live that event down. I bet you will. Just saying. I always get killed in that game, lol. Me too. I highly suggest you watch a replay of it. I probably won't. Like I said, I've, I've only got 30 minutes to get this video recorded and out the door. And then, guess what? For the next 30 minutes, I'm gonna go play Undertale. And get that one recorded and out the door. And then after that, I'm gonna go play some, uh, some Nautica for 30 minutes and get that out the door. And then right after that, I'm going to go and play some Mad City, record that, and get it out the door. I, I did get a lot of, uh, I got a lot of comments from people today like, Go, don't release four videos, because the notifications will not go out for them, which I'm okay with. You guys get my Twitter notifications and stuff like that. I want you to follow me on Twitter, okay, because YouTube notifications are broken, all right? You hit the bell. And even if you hit the bell and I release 20 videos, it would only give you three. Whatever the first three notifications were for the day. And that's because, def like, not default deal. That's because YouTube wants to be this controlling entity. But you know what? They're not doing a very good job. And I hate being on YouTube talking down about YouTube. They've done it to themselves. I wish the old YouTube would come back. I wish Google would buy back YouTube. Oh, you guys didn't know. YouTube is not owned by Google. In fact, I don't think Google is even owned by Google. All right, guys, let's go. Are we still stuck? There we go. Back it up, back up, back it up, 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 up. Zoom. Up the back street, zoom. Let's go, boys. <clears throat> now, 
now. Let's see if we actually have enough money to buy these things. 720. Ooh, sorry. Can, can I purchase this? Mm, excuse me. Oh my goodness. Got a bad case of the burpees. Jingle, what are you doing? What what are you doing to us? This became yours? What? Oh, it did. I wonder how that worked. Glad I knew where to drop that button at. So does that mean the other one didn't do? <sighs> My goodness, sneezes like crazy. Okay, so I did. I did lose the other one. It's lost. Oh, I'm going to have to end it. We're at 31 minutes. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do this. Do this. <clears throat> you guys aren't going to want to sit around and watch, so... Um, outro. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tech Into with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber, but... That's just YouTube coming to you and saying, hey, this is what's called a call to action. Ask for your viewers to do this. Ask for the people that are watching to go do this. I don't feel like that's right. It's your choice. If you want to subscribe, go for it. If not, I'm okay with that too. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. Outro. Thank you.